is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Is there life after death? Do angels exist? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Are healing miracles real? Sid Roth has spent over 35 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Hello, Sid Roth here. Welcome. Welcome to my world. You guys are really enthusiastic. Where it's naturally supernatural. One of the signs of the soon return of the Messiah is Jewish people coming to believe that Jesus is the anointed one, is the Messiah, not just of Israel, but of the whole world. Well, my guest is a Jewish woman from Brooklyn that had surgery that supernaturally, this wasn't the purpose for the surgery, but supernaturally her voice changed and she has a voice like Barbara Streisand. <laughs> Now, Michelle, you don't know this, but I love the Brooklyn accent. I love people that were born in Brooklyn. And uh, you're Jewish, you were born and raised in Brooklyn, one of my favorite places. Uh, but uh, what, if someone had said to you as a young person, what is your belief in God, what would you have said? Well, first of all, thank you for loving my hometown. I'm a Brooklyn, I'm a little Jewish girl from Brooklyn, darling, you know. But uh, my family growing up believed God was very far away. Um, if he did exist at all, my dad actually wasn't even sure he existed because of the Holocaust and all the horrible crusades and things that happened to Jews. Um, so my, we weren't really sure there was a God, and I, I didn't feel connected to God if, if there was one at that time. What, what, did you ever go to a synagogue on high holidays? Yes, we did. High holidays we went, uh, especially Yom Kippur, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Rosh Hashanah. Okay, okay. Yeah. now, uh, you were raised in a pretty uh, abusive situation. Your, your mom was bipolar, a lot of fighting going on. There, you had verbal abuse, physical abuse, sexual abuse. You know, Sid, I, um, I grew up with a mother who was bipolar, manic depressive. Um, I'm not sure you've experienced that, but it's basically a swing of behaviors from extremely happy, joyful, fun, supportive, to extremely sad or angry. Um, and in my case, it was extremely traumatizing. My mom would get so angry that she would actually wrestle me to the ground in anger. Later on, she explained that she would actually see red and couldn't even control this behavior. It was a completely chemical imbalance and she would then apologize and say, I'm so sorry, I love you, I love you, I love you. This was traumatizing for me. But at age eight, something amazing happened to you. Explain. I remember crying out in my little bedroom. I had this beautiful bedroom with a pretty canopy. I felt so safe there. And I would cry, and I cried out, God, whoever you are, wherever you are, I just want to die. I can't believe an eight, I can't believe an eight year old would think that. I mean, I have a six year old, but it is just amazing. They, they have the capacity to feel even that much pain. Um, and I, and I felt, I heard the voice of God in my heart at that very moment. It was so awesome. He said, Michelle Gold, you cannot die. I have a plan and a purpose for your life. You're going to sing and write songs and your songs are going to bring healing to the world. Now, now in your house, music was like a God. Oh my goodness, yeah. I mean, in some ways it was, it was fun. We, we sat around the piano. Mom sang like Ethel Merman. My dad sings like Tony Bennett. He's, he's such a beautiful man. And uh, my brother sounds like the lead singer of Metallica. If you can imagine the sounds in my house. <laughs> okay, so you're, you're, you're gonna be rich and famous. Oh, uh, and you go to uh, Miami. 
uh, and you meet uh, your cousin. He's going to make you a star, but he oh. does something different. You're walking on the beach. Oh my gosh! And he shock. leads you to the Messiah. What a what shock! Happened? Oh my gosh! I went to Florida to be famous. You know, a lot of people think like you have this emptiness and you want to fill it up and and different things. And I always thought fame. That's it. I just need to be known. If people knew me, they would love me and I would feel fulfilled. But that's so not true. So not true. But at the time, I, I fled to Florida. My cousin was a Jewish believer in Yeshua Jesus. He was uh, actually partly disowned by some of the family. My uncle was the very first, my mother's brother, to receive Jesus. And was he was actually someone we were not allowed to speak to. And he told my cousin, and my cousin told me, on Miami Beach in the middle of a production session. We took a break, walking along the beach, and he said, Michelle, Jesus is the Messiah. He's the, all the first believers were Jewish people. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they were Jewish, and the most Jewish thing you can do is believe in your Messiah. Um, you know, at the time, he didn't even explain Isaiah 53 or any of those awesome scriptures, but I believed it, that the faith of a child, I said, right now, I receive Jesus right now as my Messiah, and this beautiful breeze came over me. It was awesome. Yeah, you know, awesome. what Michelle is describing right now is there's a Hebrew word. It's called shalom. In fact, would you go sing that for us right now? That would be awesome. Love to do that. You see, with Jesus, you have shalom. Without Jesus, you don't have shalom. You say, oh, Sid, there's got to be another way. No. There's no other name given unto men in which we must be saved. His name is, in Hebrew, Yeshua, in English, Jesus. Oh, say shalom, 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 Yeah. Uh -huh. 
We'll be right back to It's Supernatural. In a moment, find out how you can get a free copy of Michelle Gold's CD worship album, Who Will Go?, including nine anointed songs. Recently, a miracle in Israel as Sid Roth held two separate lectures in the supernatural. 750 people came to know Jesus as their Messiah in Jerusalem, unprecedented. Your financial gifts to this ministry helps bring the gospel directly to the Jewish people in Israel and the nations of the world with real documented results. Announcing the release of season one, it's Supernatural DVD box set, which includes 10 separate albums with a total of 50 of our best, it's Supernatural TV programs on high definition. It also includes eight mentoring sessions with three special Ask Sid segments, over 29 hours of anointed content. Do you know how many reports we get of people that are being physically healed from these shows? And you're going to have it right in your own home at your convenience. Uh, we know people that play these DVDs 24-7 just to have the atmosphere of heaven in their home. If you were to buy just one DVD of an It's Supernatural TV program, it would cost $18, but you would pay over thousand dollars for the 50 programs with all the additional content included in this DVD box set. Now, for a limited time, when you give a gift of $99 to help Sid Roth reach the Jewish people with the gospel, you will get the entire DVD box set. Plus, you will also receive this free copy of Michelle Gold's CD worship album, Who Will Go?, which includes nine of her anointed songs. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9273. Get a second set of the season one It's Supernatural DVD box set and Michelle Gold's audio worship CD to give as a gift for Hanukkah or Christmas for only $149. That's a $49 savings. Ask for offer number 9274 for two cents. This high definition DVD box set includes an entire collection of 50 It's Supernatural TV programs and eight mentoring sessions with guests like Julie True, Perry Stone, Sandra Kennedy, John Waller, Guillermo Maldonado, Patricia King, Rodney Howard Brown, Tom Horn, and so many more. Three special Ask Sid segments where you your most asked questions about walking in the supernatural are answered by Sid and others. Every DVD volume has an easy to use on screen menu. Plus you receive this special full color guide that describes the guests and the content of every program contained on each of the 10 DVD volumes. You can then choose the exact program that you want to watch on healing, prophecy or worship and play that specific program for a loved one or a friend. You're not just purchasing this powerful DVD collection and an anointed worship album, but through your financial gift, you are also helping Sid Roth bring the gospel directly to the Jewish people in Israel and worldwide with real documented results. So you benefit, your loved ones benefit, and any profit that comes from this is poured into reaching Jewish people with the gospel. Don't miss out. Call now and give your gift of $99 to help Sid Roth reach the Jewish people with the gospel, and we will send you the entire DVD box set. Plus, when you call, you will also receive this free copy of Michelle Gold's CD worship album, Who Will Go? Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9273. For a limited time, get a second set of the Season 1 It's Supernatural DVD box set and a second copy of Michelle Gold's audio worship CD to give away as a gift for Hanukkah or Christmas for only $149. That's a $49 savings off the price of the DVDs. Ask for offer number 9274 for two sets. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural. P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina 28278. Please specify offer number 9273 for one set or offer 9274 for two sets. Or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. If you love watching our It's Supernatural TV program, you can now watch hundreds of archive programs online, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, on your computer, your smartphone, your iPad, or your favorite tablet. ISN will be the vehicle to equip you to being normal. Normal as defined by the Bible. Just log on to SidRoth.org forward slash ISN. Now we turn to It's Supernatural. So Michelle Gold hides the fact, understandably, from her parents because they would go berserk if she believed in Jesus. But after a few months, they found out. 
and they did go berserk over this. Uh, in fact, they got her together with what is called a deprogrammer, a professional uh, rabbi that wants to convince a Jewish person Jesus is not the Messiah. But Michelle, it didn't work. Sat with the rabbi. The rabbi said, Michelle, don't you think if Jesus was the Messiah, I would know? Look at all these books I've read. And I'm thinking, books you've read? Like, what? But, but you know, that, that that's a very good point. If Jesus was the Messiah, why wouldn't the rabbi know it? And the rabbi wouldn't know it because he doesn't think for himself. He only knows what the ancient rabbi said. And the oh. truth of the matter is, one group of ancient rabbis said Jesus was the Messiah. Another group of ancient rabbis said he wasn't. My, my whole deal is think for yourself. So uh, anyway, I, wa I want to yeah, take you to, because the programmer didn't work, absolutely. but take you to the Lubavitcher and, woman. Um, and so I met this beautiful, angelic looking woman and she said, oh, no, no. Jesus isn't the Messiah oh, no. because if no, he was, no, there would be peace Jesus on the earth. The and uh, I thought for a moment, and again, I didn't understand at that point that Yeshua Jesus had to be the atonement for our wrongs. So I, I falsely believed what she said at that moment. It seemed right, even though it still seemed wrong. And I went and repented for believing in Yeshua. Meanwhile, all I wanted to do was please God. And if Yeshua was the Messiah, I was going to believe. I really was. I was so sincere of heart. But I forgot all about God. I got distracted. I uh, won the Lena Horn Scholarship. I went to Manhattan School of Music. I opened up for Gladys Knight and totally lost my way. Went searching all over for the power of God and couldn't find him. But there are so many Jewish people right now that are desperate, that are crying out, I need yeah. something more. And, and so uh, you wrote a song. Crying out to money, crying yeah. out to fame, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> well, Michelle wrote a song, which I believe the words are going to speak to you. Would, mm -hmm. would you go sing that song, Absolutely. Who Will Go? And I want you to know something. Romans 11, 11 was written just for you. Salvation has come to the Gentile to provoke the Jew to jealousy. Michelle Gold. Be 
the hands and the feet of him who pursues us even after we run, bringing God's comfort and healing to his weary ones. Tell me who Supernatural. Many viewers report testimonies of miracles, signs and wonders, and healings as a result of watching It's Supernatural. I was afraid of the supernatural until I started watching your TV program and since doing your mentoring study guide and DVD. Now the fear has gone and I do believe I have received an impartation from God. If you've been touched through watching It's Supernatural, share your testimony at sidroth.org forward slash praise. We now return to It's Supernatural. So Michelle is on top of the world. She is going places. She is going to be the next Barbara Streisand and tragedy hits. She loses her voice. What is it like for a singer to lose their voice? It's absolutely horrible. It's, it's actually what made me realize that I need God because my voice can't be God. The things that we love, our dreams and, and our desires cannot be God because we can lose them. And I literally, it was like someone taking my heart out of my body because I would try to talk to my mom and the Lord had been mending our relationship in a beautiful way, but it would hurt to answer her questions. Can you imagine a Jewish mama asking you questions and you can't even answer because it hurts? And I would start to get angry. And um, when I hung up the phone, my husband would, he, he would see me cry. I would just cry my brains out. It was horrible. But because of this tragedy, you came to your senses and you came back to the Lord. Absolutely. It was amazing. I even had, I mean, I had so many believers in my life trying to lead me back to the Lord. And uh, finally I had this job and I was so distracted because of my voice being gone. I began to journal on the job and I, I was fired and I was thinking, my voice cannot be God anymore. This is not going to work. And uh, I found myself in the 12 step program where they had taught that one of the most important steps is to find your higher power, that that will lead you to serenity. That will lead you to ultimate happiness. And I said, I'm going to, I'm going to look into whether Yeshua is really my Messiah again, because I, I really believe that he is. Um, and I, I went there and I decided that um, I'm going to visit this little church around the corner where I met my wonderful husband. He was just on fire for the Lord, so sweet. And I heard him teaching and preaching and I thought, I, yes, Jesus is real. Uh, I attended one of the services and someone was praying in their prayer language actually said it was so awesome. There's so much to this story. And I, I, I felt like 
Jesus, if you're real, you know, touch me now, like move on me now, I'm so open and I want to be made new. Well, the spirit of the living God came upon me. I was trembling before God with tears. It was the most cleansing, beautiful experience. And I believed at that moment, Jesus is my Messiah. It's all very real. They had actually misdiagnosed her. They thought uh, that she had a nodule. Uh, if you read about Julie Andrews, mm -hmm. same thing happened to her. Julie lost her voice, and, and so mm -hmm. you were doing voice exercises, just trying to get your voice back uh, for years. And then they found out you actually had a cyst. But this is a pretty dangerous surgery oh for you. Uh, how, how dangerous would it have been? Absolutely. Well, I had been struggling for at least 12 years with a hoarse voice, and now it had been down to a whisper. And you know, the day before the surgery, I even went into the studio and recorded a little something, just in case it never came back. Everybody was telling me there's always that chance. But she had the surgery. Not only did she get her voice back, oh my gosh. but she had something fired. supernatural <laughs> happen. I don't understand this. I'm not a singer. But instead of having your voice back that she had mm -hmm. all her life, she got it Wonder eight notes higher. Uh, <laughs> now, what does eight notes higher mean? I don't, I don't, tell me what that means. Absolutely. A well, you know, it, for anyone who doesn't understand music, there's the low range, mid range, and high range. And most songs will need you, will require you to use that higher range. You're extremely limited. If you cannot sing in your high range, it's literally like telling someone to dance and not move their arms. So it's, it's pretty devastating. It's pretty bad. Uh, demonstrate to me. Show me how high you can go now. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I, it, it passes the test. My glass didn't break, but it, you, passed, you passed the test. Uh, now, your mom saw you on television. Yes. You were interviewed She's on the so 700 supportive. Club. What? Ugh. But and she actually I became a believer as a result of that. Fall in love with us, and for us to fall in love with him. You know, Michelle's mother heard the truth and jumped at knowing the Messiah. This is eternal life, that you might have experiential knowledge with the Messiah. You see, many church-going Christians believe in the Messiah, but how many have experiential knowledge of the Messiah? Many Jewish people absolutely believe in God, but they've never had experiential knowledge. I know how you can have experiential knowledge. It starts by giving God access. You say a prayer and believe it to the best of your ability. Would you say this prayer with me right now? Whether you're a Christian, whether you're Jewish, whether you're Muslim, repeat it after me. Dear God, say it right now, say it out loud. Dear God, I'm a sinner. Against you and you alone have I sinned. And I'm so sorry. I believe the Messiah died for my sins. And by his blood, you remember my sins no more. And now that I am clean, I ask Jesus to come inside of me and take over my life. I make you Lord of my life. Amen. If you said that, and if you meant it, he's living inside of you right now. There is a presence of God that Michelle described that, that just came upon her, and that presence is coming upon you right now. I want to pray a prayer that Moses was instructed to pray over the Jewish people by God, and he said that God's name would be sealed on them when this prayer is prayed. And then, Michelle, I want you to pray it in Hebrew. The Lord has already blessed you. Amen. The Lord has already smiled upon you. Mm -hmm. The Lord has already 
fills you with his shalom, his completeness Amen. in your spirit, in your soul, in your body. In the name of the Sar Shalom, mm. the Prince of Peace, you, Yeshua HaMashiach Tzikenu. Now sing it. Yivarechech Adonai v'rishmarecha Ya'er Adonai p'nav alecha
recently, A Miracle in Israel, as Sid Roth held two separate lectures in the supernatural. 750 people came to know Jesus as their Messiah in Jerusalem, unprecedented. Your financial gifts to this ministry helps bring the gospel directly to the Jewish people in Israel and the nations of the world with real documented results. Announcing the release of season one, it's Supernatural DVD box set, which includes 10 separate albums with a total of 50 of our best It's Supernatural TV programs on high definition. It also includes eight mentoring sessions with three special Ask Sid segments, over 29 hours of anointed content. If you were to buy just one DVD of an It's Supernatural TV program, it would cost $18, but you would pay over $1,000 for the 50 programs with all the additional content included in this DVD box set. Now, for a limited time, when you give a gift of $99 to help Sid Roth reach the Jewish people with the gospel, you will get the entire DVD box set. Plus, you will also receive this free copy of Michelle Gold's CD worship album, Who Will Go?, which includes nine of her anointed songs. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9273. Get a second set of the season one It's Supernatural DVD box set and Michelle Gold's audio worship CD to give as a gift for Hanukkah or Christmas for only $149. That's a $49 savings. Ask for offer number 9274 for two sets. This high definition DVD box set includes an entire collection of 50 It's Supernatural TV programs and eight mentoring sessions with guests like Julie True, Perry Stone, Sandra Kennedy, John Waller, Guillermo Maldonado, Patricia King, Rodney Howard Brown, Tom Horn, and so many more. Three special Ask Sid segments where your most asked questions about walking in the supernatural are answered by Sid and others. Every DVD volume has an easy to use on screen menu. Plus, you receive this special full color guide that describes the guests and the content of every program contained on each of the 10 DVD volumes. You can then choose the exact program that you want to watch on healing, prophecy, or worship and play that specific program for a loved one or a friend. You're not just purchasing this powerful DVD collection and an anointed worship album, but through your financial gift, you are also helping Sid Roth bring the gospel directly to the Jewish people in Israel and worldwide with real documented results. Don't miss out. Call now and give your gift of $99 to help Sid Roth reach the Jewish people with the gospel, and we will send you the entire DVD box set. Plus, when you call, you will also receive this free copy of Michelle Gold's CD worship album, Who Will Go? Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9273. For a limited time, get a second set of the Season 1 It's Supernatural DVD box set and a second copy of Michelle Gold's audio worship CD to give away as a gift for Hanukkah or Christmas for only $149. That's a $49 savings off the price of the DVDs. Ask for offer number 9274 for two sets. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth, It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9273 for one set or offer 9274 for two sets. Or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural, the most supernatural event that I have seen in investigating miracles for over 40 years. We had 550 Jewish people that had never heard the gospel, knew nothing about the Messiah in this auditorium. And 525 of them stood up and boldly proclaimed Yeshua as their Messiah and Lord. Your gifts to this ministry will help Sid air It's Supernatural in Israel 28 times a week and distribute his evangelistic book to the Jewish people worldwide.